is 4210 Lakeview Avenue near Colonial Heights. And it's a very nice subdivision across the street. Really nice house beside it, so good company here. Washing on the vinyl siding. This window appears to be fogged up on the inside. Basic landscaping. Front of the house. It's got the vinyl railings on it already, which are good. Front door could be dressed up without a lot of problem. Got some kind of hairy homeowner electrical situation going here. The Romax coming out of the crawl space, going around the side of the house, and there's just electrical taped off there. Uh, probably some sort of lamp or something like that that was put up. And then a matching shed, which is salvageable. And the back of the house, and then of course a little privacy. Something funny about this area here. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to check it when I get inside to see if the floor is weak. This house has a well. So more likely it may have a septic tank. This house has a well. So more likely it may have a septic tank too. Something funny going on with this chimney. Notice how the flashing at the top of the chimney is wider. And then when it comes down, the flashing goes away. So I'm wondering if that chimney is pulling away from the house or what the deal is. It's like the same situation here. I just don't know. Here's something else too. The electrical cable is wrapped around the side of that chimney that is just really odd because the wires are actually touching the chimney and uh, kind of makes me wonder if this chimney was put on without a permit it's just a uh, somewhat of a bizarre looking situation here. little exterior wood rod here at the front door okay here's a real quick walkthrough of the inside this is the um, formal dining room downstairs there's a lot of trim that's missing and there's a lot of light fixtures that are missing too. Whoever owned this house before um, got in tiled everything, but the unfortunate part is it didn't do a very good job. So there's a lot of tile work downstairs that really needs to be ripped up and, um, and redone, either with tile or with vinyl. The floors are a little bit on the unlevel side. There's, another, there's a lot of trim missing here. There's a lot of work in this house that's substandard. Um, would be like if you and I got together and drank vodka and then decided to fix up the house for a couple of hours. Uh, you get the picture. And uh, some of the windows are fogged up too, just as a note. This is a half bath. There is trim missing, the um, vanity's missing, and the mirror's missing. And this is one family room one of two family rooms. Here's the kitchen. Um, I don't know what they were thinking about here. <laughs> That's crazy. Just real amateur um, tile work, but uh, the cabinets are very nice. Real nice cabinets, completely salvageable. Um, would need a new countertop, of course, new appliances all the way around. This is an especially nice area of the kitchen right here. This is high-end cabinetry work. It's nice stuff. Here is the second family room. And um, this is the other side of that fireplace that was in question outside. It looks like it's level, so I'm not sure what's going on. The ceiling in here is showing signs of uh, either moisture or water leakage. There's actually has a bow in it. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but there's a bow in that ceiling. So I've got some money in there for that. And then here's the laundry room. What I see in here, which is concerning, telltale signs is uh, the type of pipe that you have there attached to that type of fitting is not right. And then you have uh, a different type of fitting over here. So there was a lot of um, uh, amateur repair work done on here. And I'm not so worried about what we can see, but there will be some things that we're not seeing that we need to uh, realistically budget for. Here's some more of that really amateur tile work. And it goes all through the kitchen um, and then down the hallway. So there'd be you know, a considerable amount of um, time to have all that stuff ripped out. Another light fixture missing. Going up the steps. 
master bedroom. There's a sink in front of the a window, which I don't know of any woman that would approve of that. So probably have to take this vanity thing out and reconfigure the bathroom. Um, this is the toilet. This has a shower. Probably not gonna be able to see anything. Here's the outside uh, HVAC unit. It looks like it may be near the end of its lifespan by the rust and stuff like that. It might work fine, but may not. 